Hello, my name is Pete Gerlach. I have been a professional family systems therapist for 33 years. I'm 74 years old. I have learned quite a bit about the world and human behavior and how relationships evolve and how families work and how children develop and many things like that. I want to make this video focus on a uh, often misunderstood human problem. The common media title for this problem is PTSD. Those initials stand for Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. Post meaning afterwards, stress meaning emotional, psychological, physical upset, uh, disorder means uh, your behavior is significantly disrupted because of some kind of trauma. I want to shine a light on this complex term and what it really means. Um, media headlines for the last 15 years have brought back increasing reports of military personnel, men and women, who've been on the front lines in Desert Storm and more recently in Afghanistan and in other places of the Middle East. And they come back into normal um, non-military life here in the United States and NATO countries. And their lives are significantly disrupted because, the media reports, because of their intense exposure to death and violence on their military settings. That's led to the um, population, typical people then come to associate PTSD with war. One of the things I want to present to you here today is that is a very narrow definition of what PTSD really is. PTSD is far more prevalent than we believe and it comes from far more things than just warfare. Let me just suggest a trauma by definition. A trauma is any kind of event, notice this, or process, a series of events. A trauma is any kind of event or process that causes significant disruption in normal mental, psychological, physical behavior and development and growth. That's a very broad definition. The thing I want to highlight here, it is not necessarily a single event, like your house burning down or being raped. Those are traumatic, no question. Um, it's quite possible to have a series of very low impactful events collectively turn out to be traumatic. I'm going to illustrate that in a moment. What are these symptoms that typically are associated with PTSD? Here's a list that is now on the web in the uh, Mayo Clinic's website, a highly respected mental health uh, clinic. They say symptoms of PTSD include a cluster of these. I'm going to read these to you dreams about the traumatic event, singular, flashbacks. A flashback is not just thinking about the, the event, it's actually re-experiencing uh, in the full sensory ability. You feel what you felt. You see, you hear, you smell. It's like reliving the thing that caused the trauma. That's a flashback. That is typical of PTSD. Mayo Clinic goes on to say irritability or anger, excessive guilt, excessive shame. Some self-destructive behaviors, they list addiction as an illustration. I would add self-neglect, um, eating poorly, not getting enough exercise, not getting health checkups. That's self-destructive behavior. They also list broadly trouble sleeping mind racing, can't get to sleep. Um, 
being easily startled or frightened, having a startled reflex to certain sounds of sights, colors, smells. Uh, seeing things that aren't there, which can be called illusions or delusions. I call them reality distortions. Another symptom, the male says, is trying to avoid thinking or talking about, notice this, the traumatic event, the singular event. Mayo does not refer to a long series of events that are traumatic collectively. Emotional numbness is, in their opinion, a symptom of PTSD. What are you feeling today? Oh, I don't know. Uh, avoiding activities that you once enjoyed before the singular trauma event. A feeling of hopelessness about the future, despair, that is also associated typically with depression. Uh, Mayo says memory problems, that's very vague in general, but having difficulty remembering what led up to the trauma, what was the trauma like, what happened to people because of the trauma, what happened afterwards, I don't remember. That can be called selective amnesia. Trouble concentrating. Has that ever happened to you? Um, some people call that mind racing, where your mind just bounces around from topic A to topic B to topic Q to topic Z, and there's no coherence or pattern, and you can't get things done. Mind racing. The last symptom that male uh, gives is difficulty maintaining close relationships. That has to do with trust, shame, and guilt and fear. So this is a list of symptoms that a highly respected mental health clinic gives describing PT, the condition of PTSD. They do so um, to illustrate how do you know if you or someone else may have this condition. Um, A conventional treatment in case you do have these symptoms. What Mayo Clinic lists, and so do other reputable mental health centers, they list as a generic way of treating these symptoms psychotherapy and medication. That has limited success. It's very traditional. Um, that works within limits because it's the only type of treatment that people know. I have specialized for 22 years in a different kind of treatment that is effective at reducing all these symptoms. It's called internal family systems therapy. It's based on widely validated principles of family therapy, working with an entire family to improve the functioning of a whole family that's been around for 60 years. This is not a new technique. What is new is applying the principles of family th systems internally to a group of personality subselves that comprise who you are. This is not widely known, which is why the Mayo Clinic does not yet list this as an effective treatment. And there's a lot to understand here. I'm not going to cover it all in this video. Here's what my point is. I have several points. PTSD is a label for a collection of symptoms. It is not a problem by itself. The symptoms that it stands for are the problem. Secondly, PTSD does not just come from warfare or hurricanes, or tsunamis, or volcanoes, or rapes, or muggings. PTSD symptoms widely occur because young children are traumatized during the first six or seven years of their lives. Trauma, in this case, is parental neglect, abandonment, and abuse. When a young child experiences those over periods of weeks, months, and years, they are deeply traumatized. They develop almost every one 
of the Mayo Clinic symptoms. They have not been to war. Okay, so this is a very widespread condition and it's under um, assessed, underreported, and misunderstood. My third point is, in case you or someone else has a group of these symptoms, do not feel limited to psychotherapy, meaning conventional psychotherapy, which often is a medically oriented process. Do not feel limited to that and specially do not rely on psychotropic drugs, mood altering drugs. Those may cure the symptoms, but they do not cure or reduce the underlying problem. The underlying problem has to do with conflict and discord in the personality subcells that make up who you are. Uh, it would be normal if you don't know what I'm talking about right now. So the last point I want to make in this video is to encourage you, if you want more information about PTSD, what it is, how, how it comes to be, and most importantly, what to do about it, I urge you to uh, spend time studying Lesson 1 in my nonprofit educational website, which is called Break the Cycle the cycle of passing down psychological wounds from ancestors to the next generation. Study lesson one. It will give you a self-improvement step-by-step lesson to assess. Do you have these symptoms? Does someone you care about have these symptoms? And if they do, how can you reduce them? That's what you'll find in lesson one. Here's a link to that lesson uh, there are no ads. I'm not selling anything except knowledge. That's all. Here's a link to that um, self-improvement lesson. And do note that in my YouTube channel, there are three different sets of videos, probably 40 or 50 videos, all of which explain facets of early childhood trauma and how to identify it and how to reduce it. So. The next time you hear PTSD on the news, do not just associate it with soldiers and sailors and air people who have been subject to violence um, in Desert Storm or Afghanistan or some other part of the world. I urge you to think more broadly and think about young children who are traumatized early in their lives, often in a non-dramatic way. They may not have had their arm cut off or been hit by a two by four. They have still been extremely traumatized if their adults abused, neglected, or abandoned them. I hope you find this thought provoking and more than that, um, stimulating and I hope this spurs you to learn more. I'm always glad to have feedback on any video or my website or the lesson one Please don't hesitate to contact me if you'd like to. Uh, meanwhile, thank you for watching.